Where do you see plugin development going in the future? Now, I think the days of the the analog emulation are slowly ending. I think that's I think that kind of it's not a fad, but I think it's it's not it's not as essential now as it as it once was. There was a time with UAD where plug-in emulations, everybody wanted the plug-in emulations. And this was because you had like this kind of thing where uh, digital plugins were getting pretty good at the time. We're talking like 10, 15 years ago. Digital plugins were getting really good. Plugin emulations were coming out and it was like, oh yeah, I've, I've got the plugin now. I don't need the hardware and people were selling hardware. Now I think we've gone full circle and we're back to the point where lots and lots and lots of people, more people than ever, are buying analog hardware. And I think that comes, I think a reason for that is because there's a lot of these um, comparisons between analog versus hardware. Can you tell the difference? Doing a very fair test between the two. And, you know, 99.9% .9 of people are like, yeah, the plug-in, uh, the hardware sounds a lot better. Um, and, you know, I've done, I've done loads of them videos, and every time it's always the same consensus of everybody saying, Hardware sounds much better than the plug-in. Um, so I, th and I think now we've gone full circle in the sense that we're back to people using hardware and not wanting to get this, um, this like, oh yeah, I, I want the, I want the plug-in emulation of this. So I think where we're going to head next and where we've already headed there is this integration with with really kind of um, taking plugins separate from what the hardware is. So understanding that there's users like me who are surrounded by analog gear, we're not going anywhere. We're not we're not selling this gear to, to then go and buy plugins to you know the plugins aren't replacing any of this anytime soon. You know, it might be a different case in 10, 20 years, whatever. But right now, hardware's here to stay, and plugins need to complement what we have in the hardware world. So things that aren't available in the analog world, um, that's what we want to see. That's where I see things going. Um, developers like Oak Sound, who are doing Spiff, Bloom, and uh, Soothe 2, these are plugins that they aren't necessarily, there's nothing like them in the, anal, uh, in the analog world because they rely so much on digital technology. Now, I think that it will end up going where, we, where we're, we're already heading is utilising digital technology and understanding that digital technology has, has in many ways far superior sound to analog. But analog has the tone, has that beautifully rich tone. Now, what it's a case of is every, every master engineer is is working with a hybrid setup. You're using plugins. You're also using hardware because there's so many advancements in plugin development that the two work so well together and combining the two. And that is where you get an exceptional sound. If you're just using analog hardware and you're not using any plugins, you aren't getting as good a sound as someone who is using both, trust me. And same again, if you're using plugins and not using analog hardware, you won't get as good a sound as someone that's using both. Hybrid setup using plugins and hardware together, that's the kind of the marriage made in heaven. It is the best way to go. The So where I see it going is, is utilising the development of, of plugins. I think AI is going to play a massive part in it. There's going to be um, there's going to be something down the road where it's going to be something that's not that's 100% not possible in the analog world. That's what we want to see. I also think um, and reading between the lines on the new um, analog designs black box, reading a few of the posts and what they've put out about it, it does seem that the way they're incorporating 
a plugin with the hardware. I feel like the plugin and the hardware are working in tandem together. I think the plugin is doing some processing and doing some of the work as well. I don't know how true that is, but that's something that's really interesting, utilizing the hardware box being able to do certain things and the plugin being able to do certain things and then utilizing the plugin tech with the hardware tech and and combining plugin and hardware rather than what we've seen before which is better maker wes audio a plugin that controls the hardware the way i've read between the lines of of the black box is that they're both working together the plugin and the hardware the plugin will do certain elements and the hardware will do certain elements and that's really exciting and interesting um how well that will work is it, it, it's difficult to say because let's say for argument's sake you you take the box to somewhere that you're not plugging into a into a computer and you don't have the ability to control the uh, uh the plugin hasn't got the ability to connect up to the hardware how well does the hardware work on its own so th th there can't be too much reliance on that piece of software working with the hardware so i think that's a really interesting way of where plugins and hardware are going to really kind of um, tie in together. Uh, that I'm interested to see, even if that is something possible. I might have just, just made this up, uh, like reading between the lines. Um, but yeah, that, that, that really interests me. So yeah, I think, I think with, uh, with plugin development, it's going to, it's going to be an interesting one going forward. Cause there's, there's a lot of new developments coming out. Um, Plugins, look, they're going to utilize AI, whether you like AI or not, AI is here to stay. We're not getting away from AI. It's utilizing it in the right way. Um, if if AI can can in some way help with with plugins, there, there, are, there are plugins that are utilizing AI, um, but the AI, you know, is constantly learning. It's constantly getting better. It's going to get better. I think one day we will get to a point where a plugin can emulate a hot piece of hardware and can achieve that sonic sound that we get from hardware. I don't I don't feel it's anywhere close at the moment though. Um I do all sorts of tests. I test all the time plugin versus hardware and you know try to use a plugin and try and get what I get from the hardware and and it never really it never it never has the same feel with me. So yeah, where I, I think I think where where plugins are gonna where they should go rather is they should start developing plugins that are nothing alike to the hardware world. I think we've gone past that uh, plugin emulation things like that. I think we've gone past that. What I want to see is I want to see plugin emulations. If there are going to be a plugin em and then something on top of it, I want I want something that's not possible in these in these units i want that in the plugin world um i want something really special something that's going to kind of push the boundaries and bring me something that i don't have um i don't have in the in the analog world one one thing i think will i think a, a few companies are going to going to try and adopt what um what Isotope have done with Ozone 11. I think few few companies will kind of adopt this, um, let's call it like a multi, what would you call it? It's not really multi-band, but multi-source, taking, being able to isolate the drums, the bass, and the vocals from from a, um, and, and believe me, it does it really well, um, being able to isolate that from, a, from the source. I think there's gonna be a few plugins, like imagine an EQ, that's just an EQ that can then isolate each individual part of a track. So when you're working with mastering on a on a stereo mix, you can isolate really well. Uh, and this is something that will improve as well. Is it, it will be able to isolate, like take the drums out of the track, and you'll be able to apply EQ to just that s uh, certain part. Like imagine if um, Fabfilter came out with like Pro Q4, and the additional aspect of it was that you could now um isolate 
each individual part of a track that's going to be that's going to be really special i think they, there'll be a few developers who will tie that into their plugins so yeah that's what i want to see as as uh, plugins go forward in 2024 25 26 i want to see advancements in plugin development that that is something we don't have here in the analog world i want to see i want to see it tying in with analog and digital kind of working together um, and creating this kind of marriage made in heaven where we get the best of analog and we get the best of digital and we bring them both together and we get the best sound ever that's 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 the dream i guess